Okay, so I have just cast on 97 stitches in addition to the very first slip knot that we put on. So that slip knot, you don't count, and you start counting 97 stitches in your cast on after the slip knot. You can see that I used markers every 20 stitches to help me keep count so that I don't have to recount constantly. The other thing that you can notice is that I've kept all of my knots of my cast on nice and organized. So make sure that the knots of your cast on stitches all face down. And now we can start to join in the round. So you will want to cut this middle uh, the center pull yarn and leave about a six inch tail. So you can go ahead and cut that. I'm going to leave mine attached um, just because this is a demo. So using your yarn from the outside of your yarn ball, ball, excuse me, the outside of your yarn ball, you're going to hold your stitches as though you're going to start knitting with all of your cast on stitches pointing down and your working yarn exiting from the back of your needle through the top of your loop. So this way it prevents your yarn getting tangled um, within that loop of your circular needles. You don't want that. Then I'm going to slip this slip knot off of my left needle and you can pull that tail to undo the knot. And now with my 97 stitches, I'm just going to hold these tails out of the way in my left hand. I'm going to get my tension and you can see I'm holding the tail from my um, center of the yarn ball in my right hand to keep them out of your way. And so now what you're going to do is pass, I'm going to move my stitches here closer to the tip of the needles. I'm going to pass as if to purl. I'm going to slip this first stitch on my left needle over to my right needle. And then as if to knit the last cast on stitch on my right needle, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to pass it over the top of that slipped stitch. And then I'm going to drop it off of my needles. So now I've used that 97th stitch in order to make a perfect seamless join. And then I'm going to tighten up all of my ends here. And when we come around the next time, we'll do the same. I'm going to use a stitch marker to remind me this is the start of our round and then I'm going to start knitting in the round. And so in the convertible caterpillar cowl pattern, we start our ribbing with a knit two. Purl two. And we continue that all the way around at the end of this round, you may just want to check that you do have 96 stitches on your needle. All right, those are my tips and tricks for beginning the Cowgirl Convertible Caterpillar Cowl. Thank you.